Hey there all craft beer lovers, time for that beer review. We have a newcomer on the channel tonight and that all that's always interesting. Of course we are welcoming Tanker Brewery out of Estonia of all places. There we go and we're taking a look at their Nihiru Scotch Barrel Aged Rye Wine. There you go guys. In the Black Pearl series of their uh, offerings, Tanker Beer Craftsmanship. It's coming in at 10.5% in a uh, 330ml can. 40 IBUs on this one, and they say ingredients, water, uh, barley malt, rye malt, hops, and yeast. And there you go, guys. There's you, there you got the artwork. Pretty cool looking. Look at that. Got a little bit of a red opener on this one. Let's give it a bash, see what we get. First timer, tanker. Oh, good deal of carbonation. And this one is filled to the brim. Let's give it a bash, see what we get. Yeah, there we go. I dare say this looks good. So, a, a Scotch barrel aged rye wine. There you go. From Estonia. I'm game. Right, in view, we are out. Look at that, look at that. So, we got barely one and a half fingers worth, I would say, of a light brown colored head, small bubbles on top. Uh, as you can see, guys, dark mahogany golden color. Looks good. Look at that. Yeah, I like that. Almost like amber. Yeah, aroma. Let's see what we get then. Okay, this is different. What do I get then? I do get a lot of maltiness. Oranges. Oh, yeah. So let me say, right off the bat, a lot of malts, but very different. And I do get uh, lots of oranges thrown into that mix. That sounds weird, but I'm, that's what I'm getting. Oh yeah, boozy. Definitely some alcohol coming forth. Oranges, booze, malts. That's what I'm getting, guys. Maybe a bit of toffee lurking about. But I mean, yeah, it's all in the taste. Let's dive in, see what we get then. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what do I get? Uh, Definitely, definitely something different on this one, guys. Uh, definitely different. Malts, toffee, caramel, citrus fruits thrown into the mix. Barrel aging, definitely some oakiness in there. Dryness, very dry on the, especially on the aftertaste. Super dry. Let's go for a second, a uh, quick sip here, guys. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I definitely get some caramel, some toffee, some fudge, a little bit of citrus notes, booze, maltiness, and a very, very dry aftertaste. That's what I'm getting, basically. Uh, I don't know. Oh, very very dry. Uh, don't get much of any scotch to be fair, uh, because it do it does say uh, as you can see scotch barrel aged rye wine. Don't really get much of that scotch or whiskey, but I do get the barrel aging. I do get that like, kind of dry oakiness to it, especially in the aftertaste. I do get the rye. I do get that lovely kind of caramel, fudgy, toffee vibe, malty vibe. A uh, little bit of citrus fruits thrown into the mix there, uh, not bad, 
not bad guys for me. Yeah, so Tanker uh, Brewery Nihiru Scotch Barrel H Rye Wine for me, it's a good solid 3.5 out of 5. Nice drinkability to it in spite of those 10.2%, I think it was 10.2, 10.5, sorry, 10.5. Uh, it's quite mellow, but you do notice a little bit of ABV in there, but I mean, yeah, interesting, interesting. For me, yeah, 3.5 out of 5. Thank you for watching.